here in front of me, you should be able to see on the top of that building, it says Rosaka de la Palma. That's where we're at. Let's go. All right, so today's January 14th, 14th 2018. It's Sunday. It's about 12.32 <clears throat> in the afternoon. And we are at Rosaka de la Palma State Park in um, Brownsville, Texas. So sunny day today, beautiful sky. Show some of that to you here in just a minute. But uh, Rosaka de la Palma is uh, seems to be the southernmost state park here in this state. And we just kind of started it. We're away from the visitor center. We've come down our first little little boardwalk here. And just spin around a little bit, show you what's here. And yeah, there's water. And they back over there, there's some ducks, but I don't know, you probably can't see them for this thing. And Rosaca de la Palma simply means ditch of the palms or water ditch of the palms. And so you can see behind me there is some water. I couldn't find any palms, but it was directed to me that over there on the other side of that guardrail, kind of hiding almost actually, is a palm tree. So there really is. So, so this is Rosaca de la Palma. Doesn't that sound so much better? Yes, it does. So one other thing I'll show you, and then we'll continue on our way to something else, is the little duckies over there. And uh, some of them have a brownish, reddish tint to them. We were hoping they would come closer so I could get them closer for you, but, you know, they seem to be hanging out over there. But uh, we'll give them a minute or two, and if they don't come over here, then we'll head on our way. So get ready to see the park. Okay, so... Still, of course, in Osaka de la Palma, walking down the road. This is the tram road, but the tram don't run to 1.30. And we weren't going to ride it anyway, no matter what time it runs. But we walk in this park like we did Benson last week. And uh, just thought walking down through this straight stretch and all this guardrail over here to the right. It's pretty cool. And... Uh, this sign up here says snake habitat stay on trails. Well, if there's truly snakes around, then that's not a problem for me. I will certainly stay on the trails either way, but you know, the snakes don't need that. So hopefully, I kind of like this road. I think it's cool. And just to show you, see, so carrying my camera with my big lens on it down there. Got my backpack on my back. That'll show that. So this is where I walked miles and miles and miles. Last week I walked this way in total 11 and a half miles. About eight and a half of that was with this stuff on. So probably probably try to do about the same thing today. So again, if you see something interesting, I'll show it to you. All right, so we came from that way. Authorized vehicles only that way. And the Mesquite Trail, one mile this way. So this is the first trail we're gonna be taking here. Well, obviously, then the little beginner trail up front. But this is it. You can see, it's just like an old dirt road that I'm sure they used to travel with some vehicles on and still do. See right there, some prickly pear already. It's dead trees. And then just a lot of scrubland and all of that. But look at the sky. Ain't that pretty? I like the pretty sky, and boy, look at that prickly pear. Talk about a javelina dream. Boy, that's it. And over here, I don't know. Hey. Looks like hay. Old, old, old rotten bales of hay. Wow. Crazy. More prickly pear and stuff. But anyway, as we go along, we'll take more video and share that with you. So stick with us and we'll be back. All right, walking along. Country road with my baby. Oh, wait a minute. That's a Nilsa Daka song. But anyway, ran across these little trees here. There's quite a few of them. And then as you get closer and more out of the sun, you see just how green these things are. They are truly lush. And I hope the shape of these leaves are coming through. They're really, really, really tiny. And they're really, really soft. And on these things, though, there are little thorns on the branches. So you got to be careful because I already have my finger stabbed. But the color caught our eye, and 
we thought that was pretty pretty cool and see that the sun peeking through up there and then see through here quite a few more of these things so nice little forest of them so we got nice color added on this january day see this prickly pear don't look in the best of shape but here just to show you the difference look at look at the needles on that boy them babies will take your head off in a heartbeat but not if you're a javelina they won't they ain't no threat but yeah you see these trees all the way down here especially on this right hand side some on this left too but mainly on the right it's like these things were planted or something they're in rows there it was like an orchard so whatever they are they're pretty cool trees and we like them and we'll get down here and you can see down here it says trail close so we'll obviously go off to the right and head on down through there and see what else we can find for you hope you enjoyed that as much as we did all right so we've been walking down the trail here it's a nice woodsy area actually probably should show you a little bit of the way back but anyway we've come to this little observation deck right here and you can see it's built out just a little bit better than i thought it was going to be nice and shaded actually and on a day like today it actually feels good being in the shade believe it or not it's not very big that's it and there's the risaka again that it overlooks little birds flying around there's a i think that might have been a cardinal so we're in bushes but you can't even see him from now but that's where he landed you can see there's some reflections of the cloud and skies and hold down there oh yeah and look over there that's a better reflection yeah right there ain't that pretty cool when a dragonfly or a damsel fly down by the water so not too much action but a little bit of action going on so hopefully you like this all right so we just left that little boardwalk outlook whatever you want to call it and this is the woodsy area that we're walking through here we're walking a little bit towards the sun this way sadly but there still is an absolute lot of shade in here actually feels very good get turned around this corner be more away from the sun so you can get a better look just some stuff in here you can see how thick these woods are on both sides more of the sun but hey and of course right there's the trail there's what she looks like up close very 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 big thicket and then they'll get back up and open up in just a couple of minutes to what we were on before so just wanted to make sure i showed you a part of this so just like always hope you enjoyed it